We begin tonight with breaking news. Marilyn Mosby's defense team is asking to be removed from her federal indictment case, requesting a public defender be appointed instead. Let's get right to Fox 45's Mackenzie Frost. You've been combing through these new court filings. What have you learned so far? Yeah, Maxine, this is pretty big news, especially given the fact that everyone was just in court together on Tuesday as for a pre-trial hearing. Now, according to these court documents, the attorneys from the Reed Smith firm, that's the Washington, D.C. based firm where the lead attorney, A. Scott Bolden, was working along with four other attorneys. They're claiming and citing a conflict of interest in the case as reasons why they're asking to be removed. Now, they are not explaining what exactly that conflict of interest is. Is. And again, they were just in court Tuesday defending Marilyn Mosby. Now, the other two attorneys who are asking to be removed from this case are simply citing they just don't have time to handle this case as it moves forward. According to the court documents, they say that they've all talked about this and Marilyn Mosby has agreed to this decision moving forward. They also say that they've talked to the Office of the Federal Public Defender and they have agreed to, to handle this case. Now, I've talked to some legal experts in this and they say that this will likely take a team of public defenders to handle this case, given the level of evidence and the discovery, meaning this will just be a large case with a lot of evidence. And we also know that the, the attorneys are asking for everything else to be put on pause while this transfer takes place, or perhaps maybe not, because again, they're asking the judge for them to be removed from this case, and the judge ultimately has to make that decision. Maxine? And Mackenzie, we know that her attorney, A. Scott Bolden, is subject to a gag order. How does that all tie into these developments? <clears throat> Yeah, that was part of the hearing on Tuesday. Not just A. Scott Bolden, but all of the attorneys in this case were subject to this gag order. And it really stemmed back to a hearing that took place in September when the case was postponed. And coming out of that hearing, uh, A. Scott Bolden stood on the courthouse steps and really voiced his frustration to some of the members of the media and, and used some choice words. Let's play that for you right now. If I could curse, I'd tell you it was all bull right? If I could curse, I'd tell you that it was hilarious. Now, the attorneys involved in this case are, again, subject to the gag order, but it was really also because of A. Scott Bolden's those choice words. He's also facing sanctions, as well as the fact that he, according to the judge, violated several court rules, specifically when the defense team disclosed confidential juror questionnaire information in a previous court filing. Now, when the judge told A. Scott Bolden about this on Tuesday, she said that he had until January 31st to respond in writing why he didn't believe he should be held in contempt of court. One of the options that the judge, federal judge Lydia Grigsby has, is that she could throw him off the case. But now we're seeing that they, all of the attorneys are simply saying that they want to drop this case. They say this conflict of interest. And now the big question is, will that end of March trial date get postponed? These are questions that we don't have at this time. We're waiting to see what happens with the judge when she responds to this request. Maxine? All right, Mackenzie.